everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Sharita, and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. So in today's video, we have a haul. It's a small haul, but I just wanna show you these items. I don't wanna to wait too long, just in case it's something you're looking for, you wanna get out there and find them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I also have two handbags that were gifted to me from Teddy Blake. So I definitely wanna share those with you and you'll see my reaction because this will be my first time opening them on camera. So let's go ahead and get started. It's just a small haul, but like I said, I definitely want you to be able to find these items if this is something you're looking for. You'll be able to catch it in Home Goods right now. So the first thing I wanna share is this circle. So you know I've been collecting circles and leads and things like that. And this is a pretty one. I think it's a little lopsided, but I can push it in. They had two at the store and this one was $25. I really love the base on it and it was $25 at Home Goods. I feel like that was a great price. This um, marble or crystal piece here by itself, I felt like it was worth it. And for decorative use only to clean wipe with a dry cloth. So you don't wanna put it in water. But it's really, really pretty. I think it's more like a marble, really heavy. And it has a little bit of crystal looking plates going on in, in it as well. So we got that. The goal is to put this in my hearth room or kitchen nook area. It'll go, it'll work in there as well as in here. So we'll see. It may end up going over there on my uh, side table in the dining area. All right, so the other thing I picked up was from Hobby Lobby. And I got these because I went looking for some floral stems uh, to go in the centerpiece on my uh, coffee table. They didn't have the ones that I purchased a couple of years ago. I think I only had a few stems. I thought I had like five or seven stems, but when I looked, I only had three and I got these and I'm not in love with these. So I'm probably going to take them back. They'll make a pretty, just a simple arrangement on the table. I just wanted a pop of orange in here. I'm not doing orange throughout the space, but I just wanted one color to just stand out. So I'll show you floor stems that I have. Um, actually, I'll show you in this video, I'm going to go ahead and put a, a floral arrangement on this coffee table. But these are really pretty, and I do have a, a item number on them if this is something you're interested in, because you can really spread them out real pretty. And that's why I like them, because it's a really full bunch, but it's not going to work for me. And these were $10.99 with 50% off, so $5.50 each at Hobby Lobby. The other thing I picked up was for fall. It is this potpourri. It smells really good. It has a little bit of orange in it and that's what gave me the idea of doing a floral arrangement. Just a simple floral arrangement with a pop of orange in it on this table. So it has a little bit of orange and it also has some dried oranges in it. So that's going to be really, really pretty either in a vase or just a simple tray. So I'm going to add this to the coffee table and those browns really are going to warm up the coffee table as well. So this was regular $20, but of course 50% off at Hobby Lobby. I found three pictures. I do like them. I actually love them but they're a little too small for this space. I may end up using them in my primary bathroom, but for now I am going to style them in here. This is one, and they're identical, but you know what I like to do. I'm going to take the little hardware off the back and I'm going to flip it and we'll have one going up and the other one going down. Actually, this is the top and we'll flip this one so you'll see how it's going to end up looking 
and this is the bottom so this is how they're going to look on the wall and I prefer more beige but it's not a whole lot of white in this picture so I think it'll work really good in our space so I got two of these they were $60 each at home goods so here is the other piece of art that I was I got it was $130 at home goods and i believe it is i'll share the measurements on it but it's really pretty it kind of reminds me of the art that i have in the kitchen when i originally got it i was like it would be perfect in my hearth room and it still will but i like the colors for our guest bedroom upstairs and these are actually all of the colors that I have in my hearth room right now. So it may either go in our hearth room or it may go upstairs in the guest bedroom. Either way, this picture can work both places. And I did need another piece of art for either one of those spaces just to kind of move the art around a little bit. And I like this piece, it's really pretty. I really love this. It has that taupe in it, gray, black, silver, no gold, which is fine because I don't have to have gold in all my pictures, although I love gold. Gold screams warmth to me. But this taupe warms up this picture a whole lot. And like I said, it was $130 at Home Goods, and I'll put the measurements on the screen. Wanted to share with you all is this comforter set. I got it from Kohl's. And I got it on clearance. I think I paid probably $40 for it. It was like a $200 comforter set size queen. And I think it was like $2.99 for the king. My numbers may be off. It may be way off, but I got a really good deal. And I'll share the link to it if I have it. But I have been watching this comforter forever, waiting on it to go on sale. And it finally did. And I used a coupon too. I used a couple of coupons. So I got a really good price on it, this. And a lot of people forget. But Kohl's has some really nice comforter sets. They used to keep them in the store, but they don't as much. But this brand, Simply Vera, Vera Wayne, I love her um, comforter line. I have probably maybe three or four that I have from this brand, even in my bedroom, as well as uh, the other queen size beds. So my bedroom, I have a king, but I wanted this for the guest room upstairs. It's going to go really good with that gray wallpaper. So yeah, good deal at Kohl's. And I love this, I love it. Okay, so before I get to opening my bags from Teddy Blake, I wanna share these candles. Yes, I did pick up a few items for the Christmas season. You know, at Home Goods and other places, even Hobby Lobby, when you see something, you wanna go ahead and get it. And that's what I did. So this is a candle and it, I picked it, I picked this up probably three weeks ago and I just wanted to share it on the video. But um, I have it actually styled over on the, on the side table that's right in front of me. And it's all of those colors that I am working with over there. So it's going right back over there, but this candle smells so good. It was $9.99 at Home Goods. Even if this candle burns all the way out, this is something I would want to put another candle or refill it. I love it. It's really simple and elegant looking. It has that traditional look. The other thing I picked up was another candle. This is a Christmas candle. So as you can see, I love those pumpkins and ornament candles. They really set the mood for the holiday season. And this one was $7.99 and it smells so good. I'm trying to think what does it smell like? It says heart and birch. Okay, so it's a soy blend candle and it was $7.99 at, at Home Goods. It kind of have a powdery smell. This one has, um, this one is pumpkin spice. I know what this one is, but this one smells like, almost like perfume. It smells really good. It's hard to describe, but if you see this, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And it's a really pretty ornament, really pretty. So I'm just going to put it on the, 
on one of the side tables in here for the holiday. But I definitely wanted to get it because I love my candles and I wanted to go ahead and get it because I saw it. So let's go ahead and open the bags from Teddy Blake so you'll get my first reaction. And I picked these two out. One is really small and one is kind of a medium size. I do keep my boxes. So here is one of the bags and here is the other. So let's go ahead and open it up. And this is going to go in my bathroom, the box wheel. And sometimes I still keep my bags in the box, but I have a plant shelf. I, I guess that's what they call them in my bathroom. And I have my boxes for my handbags and things like that there. So here is the box um, package. Is that, I'll sit down. So this is the first bag. And I needed this color. And oh my gosh, I am in love with this bag. It's so cute. So it has, and I think this bag has been out for a while, but this is what I need in my life. It's not, it's not much of a, a shoulder bag. It may be more of a, a elbow or I guess the arm bag, but not a shoulder bag or a satchel. And it has the strap here, has the long strap, which I do like to wear on my bags, crossbody style. It has a little latch in the inside that opens up on the sides. I'll take all the paper out. Has a zipper, looks really cute. Has the little apple right there. That's really cute. So this is a really cute bag, y'all. Let me get closer. And it has a zipper here. And that's where I could keep my cell phone. Things like this, really deep right there. There's no other side pockets. It's only a middle pocket. It's a really cute bag, y'all. And I love the brown. And actually, I don't have a brown color bag. I don't have a bag this color. So it has Teddy Blake there. And then it has the Teddy Blake on this part here. And on the little uh, strappy. So it has where you can lock your handles like that if you chose to. So your bag just won't be all the way open. I like that. So that's a really pretty bag. I think I'm going to wear it to work tomorrow. Okay, and it did come with, of course, your, your dust bag. I do keep my bags in their dust bag. And I also keep the stuffing for my bags when I store them. So we will be wearing her tomorrow. So let me show you here. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. I would definitely wear her like this and I will also keep my strap in the bag, probably in the zipper bag, because sometimes when I'm out shopping, I just want to go ahead and throw the uh, long strap on. So, and it has the little hooks on the inside. Cute, cute, cute. Here we go. So cute. I love it. I love the color of it. This is what I need, y'all. Okay. So we got that one. And let's look at this one. Okay, okay, okay. Um, have to see. Okay. 
And let me move this one out the way. Right here for now. It's your turn. Let's see. really cute this is like my black bag I'll see if I have a picture and I'll share it right here but I have the larger one like this and it has the crocodile print this one is really cute it's so cute and let's see and it does have a strap as well as the little key holder so there is the key holder with the lock so we'll put that on. That is so cute. That's it, and we can make it long or short. But yeah, I like that. And it's really big inside. It you may not look like it can fit much but it can hold a whole wallet. So I do have the Teddy Blake wallet also in black, but it's the crocodile print. I guess that's what they call it, but it's so cute. So we can actually strap it closed. So we can strap it closed so it won't open wide, or we can leave it open like that to expand it out. So really cute, really cute, simple. I like that. And it's, you know, this is the thing. Now, these little small bags like this. So, it's just the right size for shopping. All right, so that's that. And thank you, Teddy Blake, for gifting me these two handbags. Of course, I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them. Perfect colors. I'm kind of simple with the colors, the black and the brown. But I stepped out there and I tried a smaller bag and I love it. It's so cute. So this will get some wear too. Thank you, Teddy Blake. I do love them. And the leather is really soft. It doesn't have a odor to it, but it does have that leather smell. So if you're familiar with leather, of course, it smells like leather. I forgot to mention, this one does have zippers in the inside. So you on both sides. So one side has the Teddy Blake flap like that and the other side has the same flap but it doesn't have the Teddy Blake like it does here. So really pretty, well made, well made. All right, so those are so cute. We're going to set them over to the side right now. All right, so let's go ahead and share the other things that I got. I did share the candle, the Christmas candle. I only have a few more other items, but like I said, my whole goal is to remind you if you are ready or getting ready for Christmas, now is the time to get out there and look for the items that you want because they will be gone. And ever since COVID, a lot of us have been getting out there early because we have been so excited about the season especially with everything that's going on. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I wanna share is this box. Now, I made some one year, but this is a really pretty gold, it has the soft gold and it's cream. So I love cream. The one I made a few years ago, a couple years ago was white and bright gold. This one is a soft gold and cream color fur. So I love it. It also has sequins through it so really really pretty and i love it really soft gift box so they only have one i'm pretty sure i'll find a couple more to add if not i'll just set this one somewhere cozy just to add to the festivities so i got that and it was 9.99 at home goods i did make um some and i probably spent ten dollars on the fur and I already had the uh, fabric and I just used some old boxes, but I like that fabric better. So the other thing I got was this glass ornament and it just says Merry Christmas. It has a silver uh, little top on it and it was $16.99 at Home Goods. Just really cute, simple. And like I said, $16.99 at Home Goods. Okay, so the last thing that I got 
was this mannequin body. So I have one already, but I always would change out the top on it using ribbon. And this year I found one with a pretty top on it and it was $40. I think that's what I paid. I think I paid 30 or $40 for mine probably six or seven years ago. And I still use it and it still looks good. I added more of the greenery to it. This one has some really pretty greenery going throughout it. So I don't have to do much to it, but if you're looking for something like this, $40, the one I went to had two. I purchased one and I'm, I went back just looking and browsing. I didn't see it, so someone else jumped right on it too. So if you're looking for something like this, I'm sure they're putting these types of things out now. All right. All right, everyone, that is the end of this haul. Now I'm going to put these items where they're going. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned to the end so you can see the finished results of the pictures going where they are going as well. I also got this new Robo bag from Yeedy. They gifted me this vacuum and mopping robot. So we're going to open it. So I need to download the app for that. We got these mopping pads that came with this one, the cord, and the docking station. It has this little wrap built in. So if you don't want your cord hanging, this will help. So I'm going to wrap that. So I'm going to download the Yeedy app. I created a display over here in the dining room using my ginger jars. I removed the lids and just placed them across the side table. And I'm just adding my new decorative piece from Home Goods. And to my surprise, this picture hanger was staple to the back. I didn't want to remove it. I could have screwed some screws in it, but I decided to add one of my picture hangers to it. And I do not like the pictures hanging the same way. So I definitely am going to change that.
All right, so I already had this picture hanging kit and I must say I've had it probably five or six years and I have not made it to the bottom of this kit. So it's definitely something you wanna have on hand. I got it from Home Depot and it has come in handy. I'm just going to add a hanger to the bottom of this picture. I'm going to leave the hanger that's on there in place and here it is upside down and here it is on the wall as you can see i did bring the pictures in a little bit closer now let's light some candles and i'll show you some late evening pictures of the space All right, everyone, we are coming to the end of this video. Thank you, Yeedy, for gifting us this vacuum and mopping robot. As you can see, it is already coming in handy. I'll share the link to this robo bag for Amazon. It is part of the Amazon Prime sale that is going on right now, so you'll be able to get it discounted. Look for the link in the description. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you, Teddy Blake, for gifting me these beautiful handbags and they are going to get worn. I will put the link to both of these in the description. They have sales all the time, so I may or may not have a coupon code. If I do have a coupon code, I'll put it in the description as well. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. I'm so thankful for all of you. Please feel free to like, share, and comment. It really does help my channel. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.